This tutorial is another in a series on how to make a walk around collecting game. In this tutorial I'll show you how to make the camera follow the character and I'll show you how to set up obstacles that the character bounces off and its health goes down. The simplest way of making the camera follow the character is to make the character the parent of the camera. Select the camera Click the Object Properties button, scroll down, click Parent and select the armature. The camera is in front of the Android. I want the camera behind the Android following it. To move the camera, I'm going to start by resetting its location and rotation values. Right click, reset all to default values. Right click on the rotation values and reset all. Change the view to the camera view and zoom in. In the view menu, toggle quad view. In the view menu, toggle full screen. In the right view, zoom back with the mouse wheel and use the tip of the green arrow to move the camera back. Press R to rotate, 90 and enter. We need to rotate the camera 180 degrees about the y-axis. With the mouse pointer in the front view, press R to rotate 180 and enter. Using the tip of the blue arrow to move the camera up and pressing R to rotate, place the camera so that there is a nice view from behind the character. In the corner, click the arrows to toggle out of full screen. In the view menu, toggle out of quad view, press P to play and the camera follows the character. I'm going to append a cactus model into the scene to act as an obstacle. File, append, go to the folder where you save the cactus model, click on the blender file Go into the object folder, select the cactus and append. Click the cactus to select it, press S to scale, point 4 and enter and set its Z location to 2.2. Change the view to the top view. Zoom back with the mouse wheel. Use the tip of the green arrow to move the cactus in front of the can. Press R to rotate, Z for the Z-axis, and rotate the cactus. Add a near sensor and a message actuator. Set the subject of the message actuator to bump. Now if any object that's an actor comes within one blender unit of the cactus, the message will be broadcast. Connect those up. Change the view to the camera view. Select the armature, close up the logic bricks. Notice that because the android is facing in the negative y direction, to move back we add a positive value to y. Close up those logic bricks. Add a message sensor and a motion actuator. Set the subject of the message to be listened for to bump and set a relatively high positive y value to and connect those up. Now when we press P to play and walk into the cactus we bounce back. Next we need to add a health property to the empty object that we're using to store game properties. In the Outliner window, select the Empty, click the Plus to open up the Properties panel, click the Add Game Property button, call the new property Health, change its type to Integer Whole Number, set its initial value to 3, click the button to display it in the Debug area, and drag to close the Properties panel. Add a Message Sensor and a Property Actuator. Set the subject to bump. Add 
minus 1 to the property health and connect those up. Change the view to the top view. Change the view from perspective to orthographic. Zoom back with the mouse wheel and pan, shift and mouse wheel. Select the cactus and duplicate, move and rotate to place the obstacles around the Coke cans. Press G to grab or use the arrow keys to move. Press R to rotate. Shift D and enter to duplicate. I have jumped ahead and added two more obstacles. Add mesh plane. Press S to scale 20 and enter. Change the shading to material. Click the material button, click the new material button, call the new material ground and set the blue value of the diffuse colour to 0.2. Change the view back to the camera view, click the world button, click the horizon colour, set the red value to 0.2, the green value to 0.3 and the blue value to 0.4. Click the plus to open up the properties panel, scroll down, open up the display panel and tick world background, drag to close. That's the end of the tutorial. In the next tutorial I'll show you what to do when all the coke cans have been collected and I'll show you what to do if the health falls to zero. I'll put all the files and the finished file for you to download at my website, click the link or the eye icon. If you'd like to subscribe, click the link or the stickman. Thanks for watching and goodbye.